The Black Manosphere is a very diverse community. Not everybody's young, not everybody's old, not everybody's rich, and not everybody's poor. But the one thing I believe that's really interesting about our community is that we have some married guys. For example, Brother Gabe A., happily married, Brother Antoine Wade. But there is a brother who I will not mention his name, who I feel is uh, a really good contributing guy in our community for a long time, positive role model in this city, um, has wonderful uh, children, and just a great guy from people that have met him. But unfortunately, he posted something on Facebook that was a little disheartening. And I want to read that post here. Here it goes. I've been silent long enough. I'm about to sound off. Fellas, it happened to me too. I was that beta male provider that protected and provided for his family. I was a super dad and fulfilled everyone's needs except for mine. I was the romantic, compassionate, loving and understanding man that was supposed to set the prime example of functional manhood and marriage. However, my manhood dwindled in the process being a people pleaser and a nice person. After losing my job down in ATL, a break was suggested, which later ended up in divorce. The connection just vanished like it never happened. The respect was just gone. 11 years gone. For months, the conversation was about just kids and money. Confused as I didn't know where I stood with all of this couldn't get a straight answer on anything i fasted meditated went celibate and even went on semen retention but to no avail fellas we can all conclude what happened here and i'm still very hurt upset but i have nobody to blame but me the nice part of me is dying i see where it gets you in this life nowhere fellas know that your masculinity is everything and as of today officially on Demon time. Actually, I will actually bleep out the name here in on the post. Sorry for actually mentioning it. Another F boy has been born. So, guys, I've never been married like our brother who shall remain nameless. But um, I, I do want to talk about this whole idea of getting married as a man to just provide for everybody. And I. When I look at marriages into 2022, I'm really trying to understand what do men really get out of it with this current generation of thinking with both men and women. Um, I can see where it got you maybe in the 70s, 60s, 80s, maybe, you know, where families were a little bit together, communities were a little bit together. But like now, I can see the benefits of marriage for sure. But now, I, I, I will admit, for society is good. But in the process, I think a lot of men do a whole lot of suffering. Again, it's putting everybody's needs first, except yours. You're working all the time. You're doing everything. And um, I, I just really want to... Um, to talk about this, keeping a positive attitude, guys. And I know, like, some of you brothers have been divorced before. I've been in a relationship where at least once for a few months, like, went, it was, like, sexless. And, you know, I, I had to get up out of that. But um, I, I, I felt like, wow, like, you know, this is because I was too nice, right? And I want to I wanna talk about that because a lot of times that can easily be the case. You are the good black man and nobody appreciates what you do. But here's where we have to understand boundaries. And he said something that was very important. I have nobody to blame but me. <sighs> um, let, Let's talk about this, guys. Just because you're a nice guy doesn't mean that you have to let people walk all over you. You need to have an incentive to do anything that you do, including getting married. Again, 
getting married should be a, just as much as a benefit to you as it is to somebody else. I'm going to say it again. It should be as much as a benefit to you as it is to somebody else. But what you're seeing for a lot of guys, it's not worth it at all. Guys, put yourself first. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it again. Put yourself first. Fuck everybody else. Okay? I don't, I don't mean to be mean, but you have to do it. Everybody else will put themselves first. Your wife, your family, your friends, put yourself first, right? What about you? What about what you need in a relationship? What about what your needs are? Okay? What about all the stuff that you have to have? What about your own personal uh, mental state? What do you get? Again, you see guys start off pretty good. First year, second year, third year, by fifth year, sexless marriage. Conversations go from that to, uh uh-oh, what about the kids and the money? Lose your job? Can't pay the bills anymore? You see how folks feel about you. Lose your wife, lose your kids, lose your investments. This is this this is a part of what happens. Seventy percent of times in America, this is happening, right? And then what happens? You get a good brother like this, who turns into somebody who will never marry a woman again, somebody who is completely turned off by long term relationships, and they're out there just like, okay, what's well, whatever now? And I, I, he's a good man too. Right? I hope this is just, and I, I can see that. You know, uh, uh, venting and things like that. But guys, you know, our our, our brother not dealing with black women anymore because his wife was black, right? Just completely going to another culture. But I would say, don't ever stop being you. If you're a good person, keep being a good person. Keep being a good person. Don't stop that. But learn how to set boundaries with people. You are not to be toyed around with because people will try you. People start giving you those boundaries, out. Playing around with you, out. Women will try you of all races, guys, colors. I, I have, I've seen it with employees. They try you, set them down pretty fast, let them know. Listen, this is not what you're going to do. X, Y, and Z is going to happen, okay? If you don't like it, here's what's going to go. They do it again, get them out of there. Simple as that. I don't care who it is. People have to respect you. People have to earn what you have. If not, out. Don't want to do what you're supposed to do, out. Okay? Don't wait till it gets too long like the brother here. Don't wait till it gets long and you're at the end of the out. You start, you start doing what you're supposed to do, you're gone. All right? Just like when you just touch that hot uh that that hot uh stove and it'll burn you. Yeah, you learn real quick, right? People gotta learn that about you. Do not accept that because the only way you're gonna you're gonna keep having miserable relationships to go nowhere because you don't set boundaries. Set them. I don't care who it is, white, black, orange, purple. Set boundaries. You're going to behave like this or you're gone. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. And we out. Peace.